I get asked a lot, what was a ride on the Silver Dollar City train like with me conducting? So I thought it'd be fun to recreate it for you. So I spent three years out in Silver Dollar City conducting the train, robbing the train, uh, having a lot of fun with the guests. And I've had a lot of people ask me, what was it like when you conducted the train? What kind of spiel did you do? Well, especially with some of the changes that are going to happen as a result of recent instances and evolution and uh, other things, the train spiel is definitely going to change. Attractions have changed. And so I thought it'd be fun to kind of put on my conductor hat again and recreate a ride on the train with me. So here's what you would have heard with the pre-boarding spiel, the spiel on the train, and the whole bit. Howdy, folks! Who all here is ready for a train ride? <laughs> well, lucky for you, I happen to have a train sitting right there. <laughs> Before I do let you all on this here train and we get departed uh, right on time, I do have two safety rules to cover with you. Number one. If you got little ones with you whose feet do not touch the ground when they're sitting on the bench, please put them on the inside middle of the train away from the openings. We do not want to see how well they bounce. Number two. When you get on this here train, you're going to see a bright orange pull cable right over your head. That is for medical emergencies only. If you pull that cable, the engineer stops the trains, EMTs are dispatched, and we sit in the woods for a long time. So, if you pull that cable and you don't have a medical emergency, <laughs> we're going to arrange one for you. When I do open up this this here gate, I don't want to see any pushing, shoving, biting, kicking, pulling hair, or cursing. All right, ladies? Now, I do need to know, do I have anybody here from the great state of Arkansas? <laughs> all right, let me go over those rules one more time for you. Are you all ready for a train ride? All right, all aboard! Before we do pull out of the depot, I do want to remind you once again, please don't pull that cable over your head for, for anything but an actual medical emergency. I don't know you about you, but I don't want to sit out in them woods for a long time, and I don't think anybody around you does neither. So please, don't pull that cable for anything but an actual medical emergency. Howdy, folks! That was... Just terrible. I said howdy, folks. That was much more gooder. Welcome aboard the Frisco Silver Dollar Line. My name is George. I'm going to be your conductor all the way back here at the back of the train. And I want to be the first to welcome you on board the Frisco Silver Dollar Line. I do want to remind you to please keep your hands, arms, feet, tails, and any other body parts you may possess inside the train at all times. We do have a lot of bushes that like to reach out here and whack it. And, well, if that happens, well, you've done been bushwhacked. As we pull out of the depot here, be sure to wave that conductor off to the left. You're not going to see them again for three days. Well, over there on the left, you're going to get a quick glimpse of Half Dollar Holler and the ever-popular Bears in the Holler, where you get to make your very own stuffed aminal. Aminal. Amin. Amin. Am critter. Over there on the right, you'll get a look at Tom and Huck's River Blast. A whole lot of good, clean, wet fun. And, well, if you haven't had your bath in this last month, that's a good place to go for it. Over on the left is the world-famous Silver Dollar City Saloon. Home to some of the longest, purtiest legs you're going to find anywhere. I hear the showgirls are pretty cute, too. Just past that, also on the left, is the popular, everybody say it, Fire in the Hole! 
That's right, them dang ball knobbers stuck in town. They set the whole town on fire. And now the fire chief's looking for all the volunteers he can get to put out that rage. That blazing. Everybody say it again. Fire in the hole. Coming up on the right, you're going to see the Lost River. I really don't know why we call it the Lost River. It's right there. Over on the right, you'll see Wilson's Farm, where they just had a big old barn raisin. Put up this giant barn swing that'll swing you way up in the air, drop you at 55 miles an hour, <laughs> make you scream like a little girl. Now, I don't want to get anybody nervous, son, but I did get word back at the depot that those two notorious train robbers, Alfie and Ralphie Boland, broke out of jail again. Everybody say, oh no! So keep your eyes peeled, keep your gold and silver hidden, and well, if it's in your mouth, keep your mouth closed. We are starting to hit down a pretty steep hill here. I can see that worried look on some of your faces. You're probably worried about our brakes. Well, don't you worry none. We got the best brakes that money can buy. They'll be here next week. In the meantime, I want everybody to put your hands up in the air. Come on, everybody, get them up. Wave them around like you just don't care. Give a big old wee. And that is our emergency procedure in case of brake failure. Over on the left side, you'll get a look at Powder Keg, our blasting coaster there. It'll launch you from zero to 45 in about two and a half heartbeats. It, about that's all I counted before I passed out. <laughs> I was scared. Over on the right side, you're going to get a look at our brand new wood roller coaster, Outlaw Run. I had somebody ask me last week, where'd you get all that wood for that there coaster? That's it from trees. I'll tell you more about that on the way back. Coming up on the right is the engineer's favorite part of the ride, Moonshine Stump. My grandpappy, though, he used to call that stuff frog water. He said one sip would turn you green, two sips, you'd start hopping around, three sips, you croak. Okay, so I got a nice little riddle for you. Everybody look to the left, what do you see? Trees. Look to the right, what do you see? More trees. Why do you see trees on the left and right? Because you're in the woods. Now folks, I do want to remind you to please keep those hands and arms inside the train at all times. We are in rattlesnake country. A couple weeks ago we had a giant 97 pound rattle headed copper box and jumped up, grabbed this woman clean off the train, pulled her off into the woods. We haven't seen her ever since. We have, however, seen her husband every night down at the Silver Dollar Saloon buying rounds of root beers for everybody and singing, Happy Days Are Here Again. We are approaching the one tragedy in the history of the Frisco Silver Dollar Line, the wreck of the old 82. One of our engineers, Ichabod Q. Peabody, he came around this 7.4 mile an hour curve at a rip roar at 11.7 miles an hour. <laughs> Needless to say, he didn't make it. He flipped that engine clean off the tracks and up into the trees up here. Well, we're out here three days later digging around through the wreckage. We found good old Ichabod still alive and kicking. We dusted him off, gave him a fresh jug of shine, and I'll give you three guesses who your engineer is today. That's right. Hey, Ichabod! If you can hear me up there, give me three toots on the train whistle. I said three toots, Ichabod. Well, that just goes to show you that there's three kinds of people in this world. Those that can count and those that can't. approach of Pottersville, Missouri. Smallest town in Missouri. Population four. Oh, wait, that's right. Three. The dog left. <laughs> dog gone. Hey, 
Hey, what's going on up there, Ichabod? Is there some sort of trouble? Why are you slowing down? We can't stop out here and rattles. Oh, no. Speaking of snakes, y'all are about to meet two of the meanest snakes you ever done saw. It's Alfie and Ralphie Bowler, and they're pulling over our train. Everybody say, oh, no. I'm going to jump off to what these two rattle snakes want, but... Tell you what, let's try and scare them off first. So when everybody shake your fists at them boys, call them ugly. Ugly! That wouldn't scare a squirrel away from his nuts. Come on, shake your fists at them boys, call them ugly! Let's hear it for Alfie and Ralphie Bolton, the two notorious train robbers, for letting us go. Better yet, shake your fists at them boys again, call them ugly! Well, if y'all are having a good time today, let me hear a big old yee if you'd like to continue that fun for the whole year, all you have to do is take your ticket up to the guest relations office, turn it into an annual pass. You can come get robbed as many times as you want. Hey, they don't call it steal your dollar city for nothing. Well, over on the left, again, you get to see Outlaw Run, our brand new big old roller coaster there. It is the first roller coaster to turn you upside down, not just once, not just twice, but three times. It'll get you dizzy. <laughs> We are approaching Sweet Mary's Tunnel, so let's have ourselves a good old-fashioned Ozark Screaming Contest. I'm going to call out your car number. When I do, I want you to scream as loud as you can. Yes, scream. We are in the Ozarks. All right, everybody get ready here. Car one, let me hear you scream. Car two, scream. Car three, scream. Come on, car four, let them have it. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like I thought. Y'all are a bunch of big mouths. Well, you're all winners in my book. So give yourselves a good pat on the hand. Turn to that person next to you and say, Hey, you got a big mouth. Wow, that wasn't very nice. Sir, I wasn't meaning it like that. Coming up on the left, you're going to see our roundhouse. That's where we park the engines, trains, and engineers when they all need a little bit of work. Yeah, those engineers definitely need some work sometimes, too. Just past that, you'll see beautiful Lake Silver, home to some of the finest fishing anywhere. Why, well, last week we had a gentleman out there in a rowboat throw out a stick of dynamite, caught himself a two ounce goldfish. That's the new lake record. Also, just past that is Geyser Gulch. That is our kiddie play area for kids of all ages and sizes. Now, dads, I do need to remind you don't stomp on the little kids when you're chasing the foam balls. That's not nice. We are making our way back into town. As we do so, we've got one more crossing to make, and there's going to be people on either side there watching us as we go by. So let's let them know how much fun you've been having on the train. When they call out your car number, I want you to give a big loud yee-haw and wave as we go by. Car number four, I got something a little different for you. Ready? All right. Car one, wave and yay, yee-haw! Car two, wave and say yee-haw! Car three, wave and say yee-haw! Car four, wave and give a big loud, hey, hey, hey. 
<laughs> we are making our way back into the depot here, and I hope you've had a wonderful time riding the train with me today. If you have, my name is George, and I'd love to have you come ride with me again. If you haven't, well, my name is Josh, and I'll be standing on the depot there waiting for you. Please re remember to look around, keep those hands and arms inside, remain seated till we come to a full and complete stop. Look around, gather up all your trash, all your relatives, all your trashy relatives. Hey, if you don't want them, we don't neither. I do want to pray, too, that the Lord above blesses you and yours in great abundance. Wait for it. Wait for it. Don't get up yet. Wait. Wait. What are you all waiting for? Get off my train. <laughs> Have a great day here, folks. It's Silver Dollar City. So there's a ride on the Silver Dollar City train with me. Hope you had a good time. I'm going to take my conductor hat back off again. Let me know what you think. Did you have fun? Did you understand everything? Yeah, some of the jokes are really corny, but we had a blast. Do you have great memories of the train? I'd love to hear them. Post your comments, feedback, and memories in the comments below. I'd love to hear back from you. Thank you so incredibly much for riding along with me today. I hope you had a great time. God bless. If you pull that cable, the conductor stops the train. <laughs> oh. Okay, try it again. We have chaos going on upstairs. Good thing I finished right before that whole mess, whatever it was. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Frisco Silver Dollar Line. My name is George, and I'm going to be your conductor this here day. As we're getting ready to pull out of the depot, be sure you wave. Okay. We are heading out for this two week journey. I hope you brought plenty of food along with you. Be sure to wave to that conductor on our way out. He ain't going to. We are getting ready. As we pull out of the deep, over on the left side of the train, you'll get a glimpse of the ever popular, over on the left of the train, you'll get to see the world famous Silver Dollar City Saloon, where you'll, oh my goodness, just past that, also over on the left, is the world, oh my goodness. We are starting to approach the engineer's favorite part of the ride, Moonshine Stump. My grandpappy, though, he used to call that stuff frog water. He said one sip would make you start hopping. Two sips? Totally got that wrong. All right, so I've got a nice riddle for you all. Everybody look over to the left. What do you see? Trees. Look to the right. What do you see? More trees. Well, what happens when you're <laughs> blowing the stupid line? We are making our way back into town. As we do so, we've got one more crossing we're going to make, and there's going to be some people standing by... Blah, 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 blah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know your thoughts, your comments, your suggestions, your ideas. Be sure to share them in the comments below, or you can contact me. There's information in the description that has my email address, fan pages, information about merchandise, and so much more. So be sure to check that out. Don't forget to hit that like button, share the video, and if you haven't already, hit the button right up there to subscribe. And in fact, if you did enjoy this, I've even got another video for you right here. And also about these wonderful people here, those are my YouTube members and my patrons, the ones whose financial support makes this possible. I couldn't do it without them. If you want to know more about that and the perks that come with it, well, be sure to check the description. There's a link right down there. Thank you so incredibly much. God bless.